So today I am flying Saudi to Saudi Arabia. Not sure what's inside Saudi Arabia like. There's nothing to be afraid of. Saudi Arabia getting even more open. <laughs> And it's interesting to see Yemeni and Egyptian fighting. Do you want to take a photo? Many people are scared to come to Saudi Arabia. We are working now with the future. Leave the past. The Chop Chop Square, the execution place in the past. I don't blame the people around the world if they think we are terrorists. I feel like I'm the richest king in the world. Hopefully I don't get burned. That is a proper gift. Look at this. We call it the bottle opener. <laughs> this is incredible. At the end of the world! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Smell the spices, smell the fires coming out. Beef Masaman. Thank you. Okay, Mr. Sam, we'll come on board. This is your seat. We'll be from the other side. My colleague, she will take you Let to your side. Okay. To your oh, really? Seat. Welcome on board. Thank you. Thank you very much. Nice, nice. You can take my bag. Hi, Thank you. Hello. On board. Hi, how are you doing? Hi, everybody. This is Captain Fahad Ben Said, one with my flight party today, Captain Ahmed Al Isa. Flying flight number 559 to destination Riyadh. Uh, flight time will be 1 hour 40 minutes and the uh, cruise altitude will be 380. Welcome Saudi Airlines. Thank you. Enjoy your Aisha's. Thank you, thank you. We are going for departure. Thank you. Some needs, guy with some uh, helmets. This is my room, Ajwa, and this is uh, this big orange pill. To push back, face east, a 5 8 Charlie. Starting engine number two. Flight at 559 Dubai uh, ground. Taxi Zulu, crossover via Zulu 6, Kilo, hold Kilo Lima. Zulu, Zulu 6, Kilo, and hold at Kilo Lima, Saudi at 559. Sorry, five five nine. A mic calling point. Mic one three. Mic mic one three. My God, three eighty two three eighty. Depart before us. Sorry, five five nine. Behind the MDA on the runway. Line up runway three zero right behind. The line up runway three zero right. Runway Dubai. Trailers clear. Sorry, five five nine. Wind is three zero degrees nine knots. Three zero right. Clear take off. Clear for takeoff. Runway three zero right. Out there. Five five nine. Ready, captain. Have a control. I have control. Check off. Band flex 62 SRS runway. Auto thrust blue. Check. Thrust it. 100 knots. Check. Dubai departures, good afternoon, identified to climb the USID to flight level 150. Continue flight level 150 with uh, set Saudi uh, 559. You know, I've never been to Saudi Arabia, I was a bit worried, I'm not sure what's inside Saudi Arabia like. Um, on this 330 here, 222, I gotta tell you, it's a little narrow to me. You see this? It's a little narrow. I can lower this to make a bit more room. Um, the nice thing is, it's a fully flat bed. Regional flight, an hour and a half. You have flat bed here. But however, I'm gonna tell you something nice is the privacy is good. I don't get to see my next door neighbor when I'm fully in reclined position. So at least you can have some good rest on a short flight like this. Hey, how are hey. you? Can you 
you show us what do we have for economy class today? Of course, absolutely. So for today, this flight to Victoria, we have this small box. It's a very easy Oh, it's box. a bag you can take it home with. Yes, it's easy. So inside we have this water. Water. And we have cake as well. Cake. And juice. And a juice. Don't forget our choices of hot uh, What's sandwiches. This? This is chicken. Sandwiches. Yes. Ah, so you have a sandwich as well. Yeah, we have two kinds of sandwich. One vegetarian and one chicken. <laughs> I'm a boat on top of you. <laughs> From which country? Saudi. Saudi? Yes. Nice to see you, man, brother. You're sleeping and I gave you a shock. I was filming on top of you. Sorry, brother. Have a good rest, man. Have a good rest. I thought he was sleeping. <laughs> you from suddenly there's a camera on top. Okay, have a good rest. Have a So much Stanley. different no, 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 don't, stories, don't. contrasting stories. Okay, I'm Saudi, okay? You're but Saudi? Yeah, I'm Saudi. And uh, I was like uh, raised in London and in the States, okay? Oh, you're very open minded. Yeah, yeah, I know, compared to Saudis, yes, I am. <laughs> so uh, you'd really actually like it. It depends exactly where you're gonna go, where they're gonna take you. We're gonna do a Je a Riyadh, okay. and then we're gonna go to Jeddah. But okay. at the end, we're gonna go to Abha. Yeah, it's like beautiful nature there. Yeah, so we, we want to see the city, we want to see Jeddah, and then we want to see Abha, which is more countryside. Like the nature side. And the nature, yeah. yeah. Now, um, as a woman in Saudi Arabia, you don't need a cover anymore. Uh, it's it, up to it you. Depends. It's up to the girl, yeah. Some of the girls now, because they had like, some of the girls are going out with the bias, and they wanted to see how they're gonna react with this, go on and touch them. So the society is slowly down, yeah. changing. Society is slowly changing. Oh. It's a big gap, a big gap actually. Big gap. Within two years, well, the best thing that he did was giving the girls the license to drive a car, which is a really good thing happened. That's so, amazing. Yes. That's and now you're driving? Yes, thank God, I took my license. <laughs> Whatever Rana just told me just adds on to my curiosity, more curiosity about you Saudi Arabia. There's nothing to be afraid of. Saudi Arabia is a very peaceful and wonderful country. It's turning out to be coming up in a cruising and make no swimming into a very better already after no, no, I met you. Me, it's, I'm it's, feeling it's, better. You feel safe, you feel uh, secure. Uh, the people there are very, very friendly. And yes. if, yeah, very, very friendly. And they would always welcome you and you feel that you're actually at home. Could you tell me where you're from? I know you're from Philippines. Absolutely. I'm where are you from? I'm from Malaysia. Malaysia? I'm from Greece. Greece. Tunisia. Tunisia. Also from Tunisia. Tunisia. I'm from Bosnia. Bosnia. Yes. Wow, there's a lot of nationality <laughs> on Saudi. Yeah. Right. Yes. What's working with Saudi like? Because I like to hear the girl story. Could you, some of you tell me what's working with Saudi is like. Is it easy? Is it hard work? Do you miss home? Because you know, I heard stories like you know people don't get treated so well and all that. You know, I just want to hear from what you guys think. You know, yeah. tell me the truth. Here, me as European, because we are much more far from the east. Yeah, you're from Greece. Uh, yes, and we are open minded. So, coming to Saudi Arabia, I thought I will have to stop a lot of hobbits, and it will be much different. Actually, the woman here is a lot uh, is respected. It's, it's, respected? Yes. it's something you haven't heard much about, but actually, we are quite privileged. Not only working for Saudi Airlines, but also in the country, the woman is treated with a lot of respect. If you look deep into their culture, you might find that as a truth.
Radio 559, descend 5000. 5000, Saudi Arabia 559. Can't tell us, Salaam Alaikum, the Saudi Arabia 559. Salaam Alaikum, the Saudi Arabia 559, and heavy Khalid Tau. Continue approach runway 155, number 2. Continue approach number 2 and 158, Saudi Arabia 559. Continue approach, gear down. Landing gear down. Saudia 5 Nana check wind 17007 north runway 15 right clear to land. 155 clear to land, Saudia 5 Nana. Accelerate, reverse green. Roll out. We just landed at Riyadh, my first entry point of Saudi Arabia. Well guys, you probably remember I've been carrying this suitcase over the last 18 months, probably done about half a million miles. Why I love this suitcase? Because it's just so durable. It's a high quality, four wheel steaming suitcase at a fraction price of the competitor. Because this is a away travel suitcase. It came with uh, various colors, four different sizes. There's a couple features I love about my suitcase. The TSA approved lock here. Is there's a removable battery in the slot here that can charge your iPhone. Also, I have this very sleek looking away day pack. What I love about this day pack is, is my camera bag. It holds a lot of stuff inside. It sits securely on top of the handle of the away suitcase. And I always travel light with this and that is all compatible carry on. Traveling during the holidays is crazy, but getting away can make every trip a lot more seamless. Visit awaytravel.com slash sam20 to learn more. If you're in the US, EU, UK, Canada, or Australia, order by 11.59 on December 15th for free shipping with guaranteed free delivery by December 20. Happy holidays. See you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye. I heard lots of positive story on my flight to Saudi Arabia, but now I just arrived and I can't wait to explore and show you guys what's inside like. It's a very nice welcome fountain here. It's actually very pleasing, this fountain, and the design is quite unique as well. Um, look at these things here. Visa on arrival, international connecting flights, baggage reclaim. You can follow the size, go to Visa on arrival, that's what I'm going to do. that uh, issues visas upon arrival so any passenger who comes without a visa to Saudi Arabia who can uh, get a tourist visa through this self-servicing machine. It took about four fingerprints and then uh, a photo and then you're in the kingdom. Good morning, morning hi. hi. How are you? Good, good. And my you are my tour guide? Yes, my name is Mehtab. It means exhausted, I make people tired. You means exhausted? It really means that. I'm already <laughs> exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> So we're heading now to Masmak Fortress and the old market. It's the old Riyadh basically and where the unification of Saudi Arabia started from. And then we are going to have a nice cultural uh, or traditional lunch. And then we're going to go to the edge of the world. So we are in King Fahad Road that connects between the north and south of Riyadh and it crosses from the middle. Uh, the northern part of King Fahad Road, it's, it's the new buildings. And as far as long as we're driving toward the south, it, the buildings get older and older. So you could see the history of Riyadh through this road. We're going first to the market to use the time before they close for prayer. Ah, right. Prayer, which is almost after 45 minutes. Uh -huh. And then we're coming to Masmak Fortress. Uh, this is the fortress? Yes. This Hello. 
<laughs> he's from Yemen and he's from Egypt. And it's interesting to see Yemeni and Egyptian fighting. <laughs> Tell us, what is this golfing here? In the West, they had the suit if they want to go to official ah. meetings or something. This is the official, the, the one on the top. In the middle of the Whoa! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is at least about <coughs> 8 pound, 10 pound. This is where <coughs> all the kings and leaders and the sheikhs wear. And even Whoa. anyone who's having, like me, yeah, not, uh, if I'm getting mad, I'm going pocket to visit and, someone. <laughs> I feel like I'm the richest king in the world with all my golds behind me. It's not easy to explore without a local tour guide to take you around. You speak the local language, you make good relationship, and I just take the cake. Um, it's far easier to have a tour guide in Saudi Arabia than you explore alone. This is not like you can just tag along London, look at your lonely planet. I'm not coming to Saudi Arabia to see Starbucks, to see all the Western brands. I want to experience something local, authentic, and interaction as well. It's people from Yemen, very good at business. They're controlling our business. Oh, they're controlling Saudi's business. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm not used to it. It's strong, very strong. Oh, that's how you do it. Well, this is giving you the not perfume. To make, not to make any of the smoke go away. Oh, I never knew how to do this. <laughs> I don't have it. I'll, I'll, I'll do it right here. Hopefully, I don't get burned. <laughs> but in the old time, what did they use? What they used for it was the weapon. Weapon. Until King Abdulaziz came in 1902, they used the swords in that battle, and they used the spearheads. It's a real spearhead. Yeah. Wow. Look at this. Look at this. That is a proper gift. Look at this. This is it. This is coming out. Whoa! We're not in the Star Wars. This is Saudi Arabia. He he left to go to pray, but he left his shop open. Yeah. Yeah. No one steals. Wow. I feel like I'm going back in time. The VHS cassette. Look at this television. This is like before I was born, this stuff was here. So they are going to rebuild the old Riyadh with the old method of how it was, stones or uh, mud. Uh, and then they will continue make it bigger as well. Right, so it become a big tourist spot. Yes. Glasses, I like Oh, thank you. Thank you. Do you want to take a photo? Uh, I wonder, can I take a photo of you two? <laughs> you want to take a photo of them? Yeah, with your glasses, sunglasses. Yeah. And uh, your badge, yeah. yeah. What is your job? What do you do? We're working in the police. Are uh, you police? Uh, we are not Maybe. the police, no. We are like the counter. Uh-huh. This fortress was built in 1865 when King Abdulaziz came to start the third Saudi state. You are welcome. understand, to learn yeah, the start of the beginning please. of the kingdom. Have a seat, please. Okay. I was scared before. Many people are scared to come to Saudi Arabia. No, no, that's 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 the media outside. Yeah. They so make the, I don't know. Come, it's, it's, it will see a big difference. And not only different for construction, even the mentality. Big difference. Now we have a new crown prince, Prince Mohammed. Doing very, 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 very good things. We are working now with the future. Yes. Leave the past. Future. Yes. This is me 70 years ago. Yeah? Yes. You're kidding. <laughs> <laughs> that is what they call the Chop Chop Square, the execution place in the past. Execution. Execution. Chop chop. Yes. Ooh. But I want to explain this. What is the system of execution? It is actually the system or it it keep the right for the family of the victim. If I'm murdered, it becomes the right of my family to decide about that murderer to be executed or not. So the government is doing what my family decide. There is another execution uh, uh, system is for public damage, uh, like terrorists who uh -huh. cause death to many people. That becomes the decision for the government. Lots of people think there are lots of terrorists 
in Saudi Arabia. And you know, I, I don't blame I don't blame the people around the world if they think we are tourists, because we have been a quiet society. Not many people come to visit Saudi Arabia. There was no tourism here in Saudi Arabia, so people don't know anything about us. The only person who came from the society is Bin Laden, so they think all just we're all just like Bin Laden. Oh, Osama Bin Laden. Yeah. Oh. I see, this is the most famous building, the Kingdom Center. We call it the bottle opener. <laughs> the bottle opener, it does look like... Right now it's lunchtime, I believe I'm going into a Saudi, traditional Saudi restaurant. This is not the restaurant I was expecting. This is quite uh, traditional, actually. Look at this water coming up. It's the rules by the municipality of the Yab region that every restaurant has to have a glass window so that people can see how the people cook inside, how they cook the food. Well, this is my meal number one in Saudi and before I eat, I learned one thing. Saudi people love food, they eat a lot. Let's not delay it. Yes. Now we're heading to uh, edge of the world. It's a cliff, it's a escarpment that is about 200 meters to 250 meters high. Very good. On the last leg is a gravel road and um, he's deflating the tires so the tires can travel on the dirt track. Here comes the real Saudi driver, Formula One rally in the empty quarter of Saudi Arabia. This is incredible! I was at the front seat and he literally just parked and then look at this! Oh my! It feels like this is the end of the world. It's called the edge of the world, about an hour and a half from Riyadh. So 800 kilometers of cliff. Yes. And then suddenly jobs. It goes Whoa. between 100 to 200 high, high the cliff. That's amazing. And it was like a natural wall for the people yeah. in the past. It's a natural wall. From, from, from the west. Yeah, they cannot come in. Wow! That's very amazing. Look at the sunset there. Hello! Whoa. You can hear you echoing here. Wow! On the end of the world. Look at this. Amazing. What's incredible is there's no tourists here. I'm the only tourist here. The whole place is empty. It's quiet. Incredible. And it just shows how small humans are in front of Mother Nature. It's 
sun just faded down now. It's getting dark here and it's very surreal coming here. Just the whole experience. Very, very few tourists, but who knows, one day this will be a very popular spot in Saudi Arabia. This whole place feels like another planet, day or dark. And now I have this Star Wars music playing behind my head right now. Ding, 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 ding. Arabian night. Just arrived at Jeddah new terminal. Uh, since when this terminal has opened? This is as good as you can get. You get all the sofa in the comfort sitting down to check in. Wow, Bella, there's a garden here. <laughs> <laughs> 